slide. Hello. I'm going to show you how to uh, do tracking and um, put things into your tracked footage. Uh, this is really important for um, anytime you have camera movement um, and you want to put 3D assets in it or any any kind of assets into your to your footage. Um, you got to have the things move along with how the camera moves. And so if you don't do that, then things, the camera will move and the things will, will shift around and look really fake. So tracking is really important for, um, you know, making the shot look great when you have camera movement. So I got this little video right here of uh, one of my students last year, uh, Raul. Okay, throw the bomb. And he throws a bomb. Turn around. And he turns Blows around. up. And he acts like an explosion just went off. All right. So that's that's it. That's what we got. And what I want to do is I want to put something um, right here. Um, but you can see with this shot that I have. Okay. Throw the bomb. Of, a lot of camera, some camera movement. Turn around. Camera's Blows moving up. around. It's just handheld. All right. And um, just let me go to one screen only here so I can see it, maybe see it a little bigger. All right. And all of these, all of these videos that I have in here, I have some explosions here. I have a, a mech there. I have a grenade. I even have sound uh, explosions and stuff like that. Um, so there's all that stuff. I even have a, like a shock wave. All right. And um, all that stuff is on the server in the Raul Bomber folder. It's also linked uh, below. So you can uh, you can download it straight from from Google Drive. All right, all right. So here we go. Let me just uh, get stuff situated here. Let me zoom in a little bit on this. All right, and now I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to uh, Fusion. So click the clip, go to Fusion. All right, and now what I want to do is track. So I'm doing tracking, and that's I'm gonna shift space. And I'm gonna look up track or tracking. And oh, track tracker. There's the traffic tracker. I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna click add. And now I have the tracker here. You can see I have a. Um, this is a, a track marker right here. Um, and anything in this little box right here, that's what you're tracking. And anything out here in this dotted area, that's where it's looking for that thing. So as things move around, it'll find them. Um, and you can resize all this. So I can um, resize it and I can move it. This little dot right here grabs it and lets me move. And, and I can have a little, what I want to do is I'm going to track that trash can right there. So there's the trash can. And now I'm going to resize this track marker so it fits right around the trash can. And I can see it down here. Notice I can, I can see the trash can. So as I move this around, I'm looking at what I'm tracking. So I'm tracking that trash can and I got my box right around there and it's going to look in this dotted line area. And that's probably good enough. And you can, you can stretch that bigger if you want, but you'll find other trash cans. And so sometimes you don't want to do that. Um, you know, maybe that's going to be good. All right. And now what I want to do, Oh, you know what? Yeah. Don't do this. If, if you start it off on a weird frame, you know, you're going to have to track, you can track backwards and forwards here, but I just want to track forward. So I'm actually going to go to my, make sure I'm on my first frame and then I've got to move this guy a little bit, make sure it's right over there. There we go. And now I'm going to track forward. And when I click track forward, it starts tracking. So now it's, like I said, it's just looking in this area around here and it's going frame by frame through, you can see it frame by frame through the video and it's going to track it in every frame. All right. And so we're just going to wait patiently now uh, for that to track. Maybe I'll ed edit this out later so that it goes faster but you you really what you want you want while this is happening you want to watch it 
and see if it actually at, at any point jumps off of it. So if it jumps off that trash can, you know your tracking is messed up and you got to do it again. Maybe choose something else or, you know, put your box around the trash can a little better. Um, you know, figure out what's going on and you want to get the best track that you can. And the only way to know is to watch it, see if it ever jumps off. A couple things to, to, to look for when you're tracking um, is you don't want anything to move in front of that. Like if Raul ran in front of this garbage can here, it would mess up the track because the computer wouldn't be able to find the garbage can anymore. It's gone according to the computer, right? Um, so anything moving in, in front of the thing you're tracking, you don't want to track that thing. If it moves off the screen, you don't want to track it. All right. So make sure it's something in your shot that is that that is there for the entire shot. Also, um, you want to track close to where uh, you're going to put your your objects. So I chose that trash can because it was it was kind of in the you know, it's it's forward from these back tr tr trash cans. I don't want to I don't want to track those, you know, and I'm going to put that mech right around here. So the trash can is close to it. That just gets makes it a little better so that this when it shifts it all around, it's shifting it, you know, really precisely. There's no like parallax, you know, when you something's far away and something's close and they move in like that. So there's a little there's parallax and you don't want any parallax to mess you up. All right. And that's done. All right. My tracker's done. Yay. Um, so now what I want to do, it, you know, so I'm going to look at the tracker here and you look at the input here. The input says foreground and this one says input and that one's an, an effect mask. I don't want to, I don't want to put anything there in the effect mask. I'm going to put it in the foreground. So whatever I'm going to add there, I'm going to add it to the foreground. And so it's going to be in front of, of this background. Sounds good. Perfect. So I want to. Uh, let me get my, my media here. Let me get rid of that. Uh, I'm going to put my mech in there. So the mech, I'm going to drag it straight down in here in Diffusion. There's media in two. That's the mech. Um, I can't see it here because um, it's, um, it's not connected. So I'm going to connect it. I'm going to put it right into here into the foreground. And voila, my mech is there except I don't see it. How come I don't see it? Where is it? Where'd you go, Mick? All right. Um, let's see. Let's go back out here. See if, see if Mech's in there. No, no Mech. What did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? Oh, I'm going to go. Let's see. Let's go. Huh? No. Okay. Okay. Mech did not go in there. Um, I am going to go here. I think I have to do operation. Yeah, operation is none right now. And what I want it to say here is match move. All right, match move. And when I do that, again, I went to operation and said match move. And if you look at the stuff below match move, it's like FG over BG. That's foreground over background. Um, and that's about all I have to worry about right there. There's other things you can do, but don't worry about those right now. All right. Um, and there's my mech. So now I want to move that mech up so it's in around here. And so I have to do a transform. And the transform node is right there. So make sure you click the, the media into and then go to transform. And the transform, that's where I'm going to size it up and make this guy bigger. And I'm going to move his center over here and his Y right there. He's got a nice little shadow, so he's going to look like he's right there. You can make it as big as you want, but I'm going to keep it right about there. That looks good. Um, and the cool thing is, is as I move, you can see that he is pinned to the ground. He is on that ground. So that makes the shot look a lot better you know you can see there's a little tilt 
in him right around here. Okay, that's fine, but whatever. I'm just going to live with that. That's great. All right. And so that's match moving. All right. So now he is throwing a bomb. He's going to throw that grenade. And then we're going to have an explosion. One of these explosions. I'm just going to pick one of these. I'm going to add that explosion in here. I'm going to go whoop and drop it in there. Um, now it's media in three. So I'm adding three things to this. All right, so I have to get that into there, but but I already have something sticking in there. All right, so I don't want to, you know, I don't want to just grab that and put it there. That won't work. It'll yeah, now. Now I'm just seeing the explosion. So what I have to do is merge these two together. All right, so I'm going to create a merge node here, and the merge node. Oh, here it is. Merge right there. Merge. All right. Now merge, what it does is it's going to merge this and this together. So I have to, I'm going to grab media in three. I'm going to go right here to effect mask. I don't want to put it there. I'm going to put it right here, foreground. So I'm going to grab this guy. I'm going to put it in the foreground. So now my explosion is happening. So now I can look there. And the cool thing is, these two are merged and going into the tracker. So they both have that ground movement. You know, they're both moving with the camera movement. All right. Now, of course, we got some stuff to, you know, it's in the wrong place. Uh, it's blowing up too quickly. Uh, we got that's more stuff we got to fix. So first thing I got to put it where I want. So that's a transform. So I'm going to click on media. I'm going to go to transform and then click on transform and I'm going to move this guy right there. Oh, and I'm going to make it bigger because I want a big explosion. Yeah. All right. And I'm going to move it again. So it's going to explode like that. Okay. So now, now I have... Okay, now I want you to get that far, all right? And then we're gonna fix some of the other things. Yeah, he's still there, he didn't blow up. All right, we're gonna fix that. And we're, uh, we also have to time this explosion. And then we gotta animate a this grenade so that he throws it. All right, so we got more to do, um, just real quickly. Um, this explosion, if you click media th in three here, that's the explosion. Um, hold first frame. If you just go to where, you know, he throws it and then he turns and then you want it. Now you want it to blow up right about there. And that is frame 157. There it is right there. So 157. So hold first frame. I'm going to get it to go to 157. All right, and it's gone. All right, and now all this happens. He throws it and then it blows up. Okay, now we got some more stuff to add here. We'll do that in the next tutorial. But do this much and you're great. You're going to be awesome. All right, you might, might want to render it so you can put it in your, you know, put it into a reel. But uh, there we go. All right, so that's tracking. That's also adding things. All right, if you got more stuff to add, uh, you can't use the merge node anymore. You got to use this one, the multi-merge, and we'll do that in the next tutorial. Okay, that's it. Bye.